When you look around the Capitol High football facilities, we've taken kind of what we've been dealt over the years and tried to turn it into a positive. You can't help but wonder, how have they been able to sustain their remarkable success? We don't feel sorry for ourselves, but we understand we have to earn everything we get. The sheen on the goalposts is long gone, and their practice field bears little resemblance to what their 5A counterparts have. If you look a little further though, you'll understand how this character is a key ingredient to the culture at Capitol. We've always been blue collar here at Capitol. Kind of developed that blue collar mentality, we've got what we've got. And why the Eagles have never experienced a losing season under head coach Todd Simmis. That's just part of our winning tradition, honestly, and all of our traditions, it all stems from that blue collar mindset and we don't really have to have the nicest stuff to come out and win games. It's worked. I think our kids are tough. In recent years, that pride and tradition has been put to the test more than ever. As the smallest school enrollment wise in the 5 ASIC, the program's varsity numbers hit an all time low last season. It's not like 10 years ago where we had 22 different guys starting. It's to the point that even with a small recent surge, Capital is still tweaking what it takes for them to sustain their success. It may be the same guy playing both sides of the ball, but He's a good football player. Few players on this year's squad will offer a better representation of what capital football has become than Jake Walk. We're planning on playing him both ways, so yes, he's gonna play a lot of football. Tough, talented, and technically sound, the six foot four, 230 pound D1 prospect will hardly leave the field this fall. Uh, I'm ready to do whatever my coach is asking me, but right now I think the only time I'm off the field is on kickoff, so I'll be on the field most of the time. He's just a great big, bodied athlete. I'm excited. I think he's going to have a I think he's going to have a big big year. Walk will serve as one of the primary targets on offense for quarterback Max Clark, who is back under center after starting last season as a junior. I have tremendous confidence in Max. He's always been the smartest guy on the football field. Football education, coach on the field, likable guy. It's a great compliment, especially coming from your head coach. It's my favorite sport. Any opportunity I have to get myself better when I'm not on the field, I, I take advantage of that because I know it'll pay off when you know game time comes. Even though Capital is light on numbers this year, they aren't altering their expectations. Honestly, to be a part of all the traditions we have at Capital is more than an honor. I think everyone just has a straight mindset of we're Capital football and we're gonna come out to win. That stubbornness is the reason their program hasn't slipped and the ultimate goal will remain the same for at least one more fall. Capable of going all the way. We're capable of doing anything we set our mind to.